Yo, what's going on folks? Retrospective Dave here. And in this video, we're gonna be legit checking the Air Jordan 4 in the military black colorway. Now this sneaker is regarded as one of the most scariest replicated sneakers in recent memory. And with the market prices being between $400 and $500, paying that kind of money and not receiving an authentic pair is insane. So hopefully this video will give you some reassurance or peace of mind that you got what you paid for. Feel free to like and subscribe throughout the video. And without further ado, let's get into the shoe. So first, you wanna make sure that you have a woven footbed with white threading. You also wanna make sure that your corresponding shoe size is printed backwards on the footbed. If you're inspecting the right shoe then your shoe size should be printed on the right and if you're inspecting the left shoe then your shoe size should be printed on the left. So just about every replica pair of this shoe will have the dream cell inserts however the difference with the authentic pairs is that they will be more high quality and you'll be able to see that with the debossing of the dream cell text on the authentic pairs. On the replica pairs you will see that the text is a little bit more superficial and does not have that clean and deep appearance that the authentic pairs will have. So assuming your pair is authentic and depending on which authentic version you have you will have one or two stickers on your insoles. Depending on if your shoe was distributed in the United States you will have a sizing tag below the Jumpman on your insole. And if you got a pair that was distributed outside of the United States, whether that be the UK or Europe, then you have a more pictograph style sticker on your insole. Now stickers can easily be removed or fall off. So if you're buying the shoe used, then that's definitely not a red flag if you do not see the stickers there. But if you're buying the shoe brand new, your stickers should be intact. So moving on to the sizing tag. So my factory code on my sizing tag reads LN3. Jordan 4s can come with various factory codes on a sizing tag. It could be LN4, LNM, SZ, VW1, IW2 if you were a kid sizes. So if your factory code is different from what you see on screen here, definitely put that in the comment section below. All right, folks, production dates, production dates. This is a big one and a very slept on aspect of legit checking sneakers. So the dates that you see on screen here may not match the ones that you have on your pair. However, your left and right shoe should have the same production dates. In the event that your left and right shoe do not share the same production dates, that doesn't mean that your pair is automatically fake. However, it is becoming a standard for your left and right shoe to have matching dates. All right, folks, so one last thing to note about production dates, and this is very important, and that is production usually starts six to seven months before before the shoe is actually released to the public and production usually ends four to five months before the shoe is released to the public. It also takes two to three months to produce a pair of the Air Jordan 4s. So if these time frames are significantly off on your pair, then consider that a red flag. Now, when it comes to this particular Jordan 4, it does come with the molded sock line and shoe trees. Some 4s will come with shoe paper stuffed inside. However, this particular Jordan 4 comes with a molded sock line and shoe tree. Now, I know that Jordans are usually not held in the highest regard when it comes to consistency. However, the Air Jordan 4 does have a very consistent stitching pattern that can be found on on the tongue underneath the word flight. So if you look between the G and the T, you will see that it is double stitched or heavily stitched. This tip can easily be applied to any of your Air Jordan 4s in your collection as long as they are authentic. And moving on to the box. So underneath the box lid, there are no stickers or stamps. There is one YCM sticker inside of the box and there are no stickers or stamps underneath the box. And the official colorway for this shoe is white, black, and neutral gray. One more tip to note about the boxes. If you wanna compare your box size or dimensions, I highly recommend that you compare it to the Air Jordan 4 Thunder or the Red Cement. Those boxes are the same as the one that comes with the black military fours. And if you notice that the boxes are not the same size, but you have the same size in each shoe, then that is definitely a red flag. All right, folks, now that'll do it for this legit check on the military black Air Jordan 4. If you got something useful out of this video, definitely hit the like. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Also hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload new content. Thank you for tuning in. Stay fresh, blessed, and free of stress. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.